Tuesday to you. Hopefully it's been a good one. Got a fun stream tonight. Got all sorts of lovely projects to go along with our fried guacamole tonight. Happy National Guacamole Day. For anyone new in here, hello, I'm Jason, Chef J Day. streaming many years. But as usual, it starts. Some coffee here. Some coffee over here. Hello, Capitano. I've only recently discovered it myself, otherwise I would have tried it probably earlier. Yeah, the captions have been almost inappropriate lately. To be honest, I don't know how I'll feel about it either. I'm typically not a, a hot food guacamole guy. We'll see. I, I don't. I take that back. I, I like guacamole with a chimichanga. But we'll we'll see how this. I mean, taco salad. The rest of it's going to be cooling. I'm also unsure if it's going to, I'm going to actually save some of it separate from what I'm doing the fried because I want to see if freezing it, which is part of the process, sort of like doing, I've done fried pickles in the past and several other things. I'm going to be freezing the guacamole quickly before frying it. So I'm curious if freezing it is going to hurt the quality, texture, etc. I'm also thinking of making it large enough that the fry is not going, like, I'll be able to tell. 
Hello, Nan Reader. channels and all my tabs start playing my stream. Oh, hey. We, we, we're done with our drip. charge the batteries and like little whoop. Welcome in everyone. Glad you're joining me tonight. Cheers. So that means I need to get right off of the bat and make some some guacamole here so we can freeze it. So that's going to be the first project of the evening. I'm use all those here soon. We got lots of things to chop tonight. Considering the season,
I'm gonna guess that's enough tomato for this project. We'll save the rest for Pico. Actually, probably bought one too many tomatoes here. I have that habit. Curious chat, did you know that green jalapenos are unripe? Just scraping the seeds and center out. Just doing that over the trash to save me dealing with some of the seeds tonight. Red, or I suspect in this case purple, or close to black. But green is, like most peppers, unripe. It's just, they don't really get hotter with being ripe. And it is what consumers expect, and so it's what they look for at supermarkets. I'm actually pretty certain that my uh, local Safeway gets red jalapenos and sells them labeled as Fresnos. Power brought them. That's one heck of a guess. Mmm, onion. I'm doing everything but the avocado first.
not sure why that wanted to kick out like that. That was interesting. I don't know if that was even visible on camera or not, but the insides of this wanted to kick in when I was slicing down. The last film from Vinyl Carmen still green. Yeah, it's getting that time. Like, I bought the tomatoes tonight from a place, and I, I can. It was a shorter drive for me, so it was a convenience thing. But I know that we've been getting well below 50 for a while, and the market that I went to for these tomatoes I know is open air enough that they're not going to keep it, you know, a different temp from what's going on outside. So, yeah. Otherwise, it's a great place to go to. It's just that they're a little too open to the air, which it'd be awesome if they were like, oh, they like, showed off the fact that they're as open air as they are but half of the time they leave like all the curtains down to block the sun for the cashiers hey will welcome in So we've got tomato, jalapeno, and onion going here already. Next, we gotta get some lime in there. I just happen to have some lime already sitting around here. Oh. 17 months. Happy 17 months, Chef. As always, great food and great times. Hope. Doobers. Corgo 500. I need both your lovely input on this month's project. Manhattan from well? Dubers, if you're unfamiliar, I do a weekly or monthly project. I've just sort of started. This is our second month where everyone who contributes to the stream get some input and this month is going to be what I put in this cutesy little two liter bottle barrel yeah but you get one for 500 bits See, it's my memory ability. I apologize, chat. That's how quickly I forget things. Dubers just sub subbed to me the other day. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Awesome. Thank you.
you for the follow. Might as well just leave those out for the next parts of the project. Happy Tuesday, Papa Smurf. That one just did not want to break free. Thanks, Dubers. Uh, where's one of my thin ones? Thin ones being one of my thinner spoons, one of my thin metal, practically tin metal spoons. Yes, I know they're stainless. Probably the cheap stainless too. Hi buns! That reminds me, I should go back over to see what's going on over there. Okay.
Thank you, Lou, over in Trova. I am amazed. There was there was one there that was on its way out. But none of those that was the closest to underripe. Which that one was still ripe. Why is ripe a good term in fruit and a bad term in people? space. That was salt and pepper and I am using ground beef, but mostly because it's what I have around the house already. MSG. Yeah, I did a really quick dinner command tonight, last second, but th there's a good list there. Oh, bot. Why are you repeating it in Twitch instead of saying it in Twitch and other places? I don't know.
garlic powder. Test to see if we need a little more lime in there or not. I'm going to add it, why not? I mean, I only put one of them in there. It's not going to be bothering me if it's mildly acidic. I can't even hardly tell if there's any lime in there now as it is, so let's add some more. Ah. And we'll go with freeze. Well, I've got fresh. Let's use fresh. I'm not going to use all of this tonight, anyways. Need some good flushes for later. there in case things are too big too small that's sort of a deal hey cosmic welcome welcome happy Tuesday I had a sort of weird day today. I started it out late. I slept in unintentionally. And so I, of course, then felt rushed from that point. And I had spent some time here in the kitchen cleaning up in the morning. And... I got accustomed to the fact that my clocks, what time it was based off the clocks here. Um, I haven't changed these since daylight savings. And so I woke up late, got all rushed around, thought I was even later than it was, and then greatly relaxed when I realized it was two o'clock instead of three o'clock. Hey, Hamhawk. Thank you for the follow. How you doing tonight? Happy Tuesday to you. 
All right. We got our guacamole made now. Normally, I would have made pico and then added the pico to the guacamole. I, I guess I just made guacamole to start off the stream today because I got to freeze it quick. Ring mold. Where are my ring molds? Where have I hidden my ring molds for myself? I haven't hidden them very well because I already found them. I'm just preoccupied trying to get this parchment back into the box. So I don't brush up against it every time I walk by here. I think that's a pretty good size for our our fried guacamole. Well, you solved it now. Yeah, that seems to happen every now and then too. There's Gotta show chat what I'm doing. I think three is a good number to try on this. What do you think, chat? Yeah, and Buns has undone that since you... in here a moment ago but you know typical rabbit here one mo moment gone the next all right so we're gonna take our three pieces of guacamole and give these a quick freeze I'm not gonna re really concern myself with getting them completely frozen uh, we just want the outsides of them somewhat solidified so that they're easy to coat. Actually, let's pull that back out. Here. Is that going to hold it down? That'll do it. The parchment, the fan from the uh, 
freezer was blowing the parchment over the top, so I'm throwing the knife down to hold it from folding over. That way it gets all that air blowing on. So we got our guacamole. I'm going to save the rest of this for later. Let's see if I can't put this into a better container for that, though. Pretty sure he joined, Buns. Dollar message. No buns, I did not see the Browns game. Which means I need another vote from you. Doobers? Duber's really, I, I'm, I'm guessing based off past votes, Duber's really wants the Manhattan to win. Coffee break. <sighs> Thank you for the gift sub. there on the vote on the screen there ham hawk i have started doing monthly challenges this is our second month doing that so anyone who contributes to stream in some form bits subs gifts subs etc gets a vote and i guess dubers is volunteering his vote to you for what cocktail this month actually that's coming up this week i believe it's on friday we're going to be filling this up, this cutesy little two-liter barrel to make our own aged cocktail. Nope, you just need to know, let me know which one of the ones you like there. Maybe you can't see them there. Uh, the choices that I've given chat to choose from are a vieux care, which is a rye cognac, sweet vermouth and bitters cocktail, uh, Martinez, which is a gin with sweet vermouth, maraschino and angostura, the Negroni, which is gin, Campari and sweet vermouth. I expected a little more support for that one. Manhattan, which is got the far and away lead which is a bourbon vermouth and then go stare bitters concoction and lastly was the gin martini which is gin with sweet vermouth and orange bitters manhattan just running away with it thank you Alright, I'm gonna package this with, I'm gonna give this some plastic wrap.
mostly a limited oxygen exposure. I hope the the lime in there is enough as it is, but usually it takes like the surface coated in some sort of acid in order to prevent this from oxidizing. The uh, local uh, farm stand to me, what they do is they, they do some prepared, they have a really small prepared foods area, which I'm shocked. I know they can make so much more money with that if they enlarged it. But they package, they do uh, uh, guacamole quite often but they'll put pico over the top of it. Oh no. Nope, I'm still here, ham hock. All right, where are my next steps here? Uh, I think probably making my tortilla dough. Well, it'll turn up. There's a piece of red onion in there. Just letting chat know that I know that it's in there. I'll probably find it when I start rolling it out. that later too. So I'm just working some of that fat into large fat, whatever he's got around, rendered bacon drippings. Those can be a little too potent though. It's one of those, where's the bacon at things where if you use bacon fat to make your tortillas and then don't have bacon in your, your taco, it's going to taste like bacon, even still. Guess we'll just use some hot water out of the sink, maybe? Thank you. 
I don't know where the onion went. It's still in there, apparently. Masa and warm water. the wet masa in with our other tortilla or flour tortilla dough. Where all my coffee lovers go? No one guessing crema? Did anyone even guess cream? Ew. You dreamt of, like, that sounds like a nightmare, not a dream. there was a piece of red onion in there chat Didn't you say it was your first job? Not that this is going to be proofing at all. I don't know why I'm balling it. We're going to allow this to rest now. we we'll work on some other stuff. Haxard. Trying to think if there's anything else that I need to do that's a little bit more longer term before can just get into veggies and chopping and I, I think we're I think I'm just gonna make some pico now
Oh, and I'm turning my fan on. So here at the end. Eh, didn't turn out too bad. Not too many strays there after all. I don't know. Always live over on Trovo there. And on YouTube, and on Kick, and on Twitch. Just need to figure out how to do Reddit now, too. Picked out again on me there. Tomatoes and onion.
Thank you for the follow. I just realized that clapping is still really loud for the, the follow. Is that annoyingly loud to you, chat? Thank you, society. tomatoes even if my knife is sharp enough to be cutting through the skin I always have that te te tendency to sit there and make sure I puncture the skin and then go through the rest of the way sprinkles ham hock sprinkles I think I'm gonna leave this last tomato hole. Maybe we'll use that for something else. This is more than enough pico for tonight's dinner. Should work for you two doobers, but I think you just hit it up too quick for the bot to do both of them. By the way, chat, 
the wash your hands sound effect is 20 seconds long. Yeah, my water's out of the fridge, so it's still somewhat cool. I prefer my water really cold, yeah. It's sort of funny because, it, I don't know, as much as I've read, it says that cold water is not necessarily good for you. It hits the back of your throat amazingly, though. Okay, so next steps here, we need, what else in here? We need some oil, we need salt and pepper. Now this is the sort of content that I could have put on my OnlyPans page.
jalapeno, lime, cilantro, tomato, onion. Am I forgetting anything there, chat? I don't think so. I am going to chop up a bit more cilantro. Mostly because I have it. And this is going to go in with the meat. I'm going to cook the meat, the beans, and the corn all together. and the scrap onion there. And I'm gonna throw this in with that once it's done with its initial cook. What say you, chat? Are you, do you think you should have the beef hot going on the salad? Or is, is room temperature beef okay on a taco salad? Not cold, but like, or mild, not hot off the pan, hot. Has to be hot, like built all the salad the hot. Enjoy your evening, Hamhawk. Or your day. I'm glad I could have gotten your day started off. And we're glad you found us again, too. Yeah, it's pretty rough chop, but like I said, this is going in with the meat and the beans. I'm gonna 
some things this bot does just royally confuses me. Hey, Naomi. Happy Tuesday to you. Thank you for the follow. For those just joining in, I am frying guacamole tonight. And making a taco salad. I've already made my guacamole that's in the freezer. Well, some of it's in the freezer, freezing up into pucks that I can then batter and fry. Thank you, Tharkin. Okay, um, carrots, lettuce, green onion, How'd we get over on the stove? Over on the cutting board. Carrots are going to be in the actual salad mix. more traditional for me style tonight I'm not doing I usually try and do the what I call Asian or Chinese julienne which is the sort of julienne carrots that you'll get from a Chinese restaurant Chinese American restaurant where they're all sort of the same dimension with their or the same diameter height and width, but the length is all varied, and we're, we're just going with quarter moons. Are they called full moons if you just slice a carrot? It depends, Naomi. Um, the vast majority, I would say yes. The average kitchen. 
the average, you know, fast casual restaurant, which isn't even really so much of a kitchen as a here, maybe sear this or microwave that. They can be absolutely brutal because it's a position where in many cases, the servers who are just running your food to the table are making more money than you and sitting there and complaining and Now, on the other hand, yeah, if you work in some nice, fancier places, just like finding nicer jobs in any in other industry, there are certainly exceptions to that, to it being absolutely brutal. I wouldn't think so, Dubers. Typically, there isn't a whole lot of food left over at a restaurant at any point. Um, you know, if it's got leftover fish, it's going to be fish stew next week or next day. In many cases, if you're in a nice place, you'll actually get a meal, though. It may be cheap and meh, but... In most of the finer dining or higher end restaurants that I've worked at, the staff at least had someone put something together for people to eat. Then again, I've worked at fast casual places where, you know, they didn't really want to give you any time off. And if you had any food at all, it was you made something up and took it with you when you were done. It sort of got half judged for doing it at the same time. Well, it's probably a good place to find some toxic hot men, yeah. Because the other thing about kitchens is they also tend to... They're, they're the hidden job. So, I mean, they tend to attract that mentality of person that doesn't want to be out there. Okay, um, maybe I just uh, throw all that into the large bowl. Why is this still here? I don't need this. It's just water anyways. Take all but some, just in case I want some for garnish. Throw that in the bowl. And I throw that with, let's just throw it in here.
carrots going in here too. And this is the start of our base salad. Blue plates, these these blue balls. I believe I got those from Ikea. I don't know where I got those for sure. This one? I thrift shopped at this one. I don't know where it originally came from. Mm, let's do rings. Rings are fun. services here. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't just do yellow ones though. Let's, let's not just do yellow. Let's get some other cool colors here. Yes, I have two bags of peppers. Let's do a red and a purple. I bother closing those bags up. And... This is one of those ones I was trying to grow pepper inside of pepper. If I had a favorite, maybe my own. My my business wasn't much of a restaurant, though. It was, it was a food business, though. Throw those in with the salad too. So this plus romaine is gonna be our base salad green or base salad mix. Then we'll have pico with that and the beef, beans, and corn. And the tortilla shell, which is my next project here.
want to pan with a little bit of a higher side to it than my cast iron tonight. So I'm actually going to get this out of the way. over on the stove. Even worse buns, I think I just called my cast iron pan inadequate. How dare I? So we got our tortilla here, resting in the pan. We're gonna give this a nice roll out. Main camera. I think this is the largest tortilla I've made in a while. <laughs> no one guessing supermarket with the scramble? I guess that's a little bit of a longer word. Oh, this one's not on. I keep forgetting to turn this one on, chat. Now the question is, is can I fit that into this? Yeah, that sounds like a great way to start a fire. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna have to wait a minute for that to warm up. Might as well get going with the rest of the goodies then. Get them sauteing up here. For that, I will use my cast iron. It's a doozy. So I've got heat on this pan over here. I don't want the bean juice, so I'm going to siphon it off, strain it off. I'm just saying no to bean juice. No, I haven't, Dances. And it actually fooled me earlier today. I was saying that earlier in chat. Haven't adjusted on the oven, or I haven't adjusted on my microwave over there. I was saying in chat earlier, I woke up late today. Overslept, no real reason to, or rather it wasn't the plan. And then rushed around in the morning and was doing stuff here in the kitchen in the early afternoon. Got to thinking that it was 3 o'clock when it was 2 o'clock. It may be early-ish. It's certainly dark outside, though. No beer drinkers in class? In chat? Start searing our beef. Zoom left. Oh, I have to make a dressing too. Okay. Oopsies. We'll keep our uh, meat and beans warm, I guess. And we're going to procrastinate on the frying then because I have to make dressing. 
I should probably cr chop my romaine too before I do the frying too. Well, I have to do I have to do the prep on the guacamole too. Let's see how the guacamole is looking here. If these are starting to solidify up at all here. For those just joining in, we have our. Oh, okay. Okay. They've got so much of a, somewhat of a shape. I don't want to press on them too much in case, and I assume they are not solid. I'll throw those back in the freezer for a bit longer. Hit the other side of our beef here with some salt. This isn't what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I have tomatoes in my guac too. Scrap onion. Cayenne. Garlic. Human. Hot paprika. Just one more moment before I give that another stir. frozen corn. Does it need chili powder too? We can do some ancho chili powder. Well, if it isn't all cakey.
There we go, a little ancho chili. Thanks for joining in, Thad, over on Trovo. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water in there. Mostly to allow me to get some of those goodies up off the bottom of the pan. I intend to cook most of that off. Or I expect most of it to evaporate. let the pan hot hold that for a little bit what kind of dressing am I making for the salad I'm just doing a sort of simple homemade ranch esque ranch sort of ranch not quite ranch homemade ranch I did look but did not see uh, surprisingly any chipotle peppers at my market. I was considering doing an ancho chili dressing, but I was like really dithering on it because and I was going to look at the price because I mean, you get one of those little cans and you use it like for one dinner and the rest of it goes bad in the fridge all the time. And I, it's a pretty large expense just to add it into a dressing. But I considered doing a chipotle dressing. Let's see here. I have to fix my earbud here real quick so I can actually hear what's going on. There we go. That's a little better. All right, so I've done this many times on stream before. It's been a minute though, but we're not straying too far from what I've done in the past here. Cream. 
loves sour cream. It's amazing how you make something and technically spoil it. And it tastes better than the original. Am I going to get milk hate for that? Since we're doing cilantro and everything tonight, I'll throw a little cilantro in there. These are my freeze-dried herbs. Dill. Time. This is probably not on the traditional list, but I'm gonna add a little bit of Dijon. Okay, maybe a lot. feel like they've formulated like I don't think that that I think they've changed Grey Poupon over the years I think it's a little bit more of a hot dog mustard now than it used to be a little Worcestershire Worcester Worcestershire sauce Touch of cayenne. Garlic. Oh. And dried oregano. Just add a little half and half or milk or whatever dairy you got around to. Loosen it up, or if you're in a cheap restaurant, water. Buttermilk. Do I have any buttermilk powder? I think I got rid of my buttermilk powder. Yeah, I got rid of my buttermilk powder. But if you got buttermilk this is a great use for buttermilk or if you got buttermilk powder it's a great use for that too I need to buy another thing of that that was pricey though and I didn't go through it fast enough I need to find a smaller package of it It's a little thick still, so I'm gonna add a little more half and half there. That's basically ranch chat. Like, normally you'd have some buttermilk in there. 
the traditional version has some buttermilk in there. But the sour cream gives you much of the same tang. There's dill in there. I use freeze dried dill. And yes, it, it, oh yeah. Alright, so that's our dressing, our dressing set. Let's do our lettuce up here. It's, well, we're basically there. We just gotta fry things. Batter and fry things. Yeah, we'll do the lettuce up. Actually, let's save that bag. I'm just going with it. I'm just trusting it tonight. I could have salad spun it. Certainly not live over on Trovo. Certainly not my first day stream. A little bit of the Pico in with this.
in just that alone is going to start wilting this lettuce a little bit. I'm going to leave it there like that. I'm not going to fully dress it just yet. Flame back on on the front burner over here on the oil. Oops, well, let's fix that seam while I'm here. Yeah, that's a little better. Is this off too? Yeah, that's a little bit off too. That's not what I wanted. Oh yes, they're trying to throw me off. All right, um, salad set. That's set. Let's prep our stuff for frying. Actually, let's just use these. I've never tried using these for breading station. They look like they'd be sort of perfect for my guacamole pucks. Hey, chat. Catch. Oh, dad joke. Oh, dad joke. I didn't like this AP flower this time along nearly as much as the old stuff I used to buy. I need to make sure and get the... I used to buy a blend of... It was it was an all-purpose flower, but it was an all-purpose flower with a bit more malt to it. Or maybe... what. What was the difference with it? Other than I liked the way that it performed better. And it browned nicer. Mmm, bread crumbs. Bread crumbs. Bread crumbs. Sorry, I don't have panko chat. I actually lucked out that I have bread crumbs at all. I completely forgot.
we getting warm over here yet, oil? I'm glad I rolled the tortilla out earlier, give it a little while to rust. dry. We'll see how this turns out, chat. This is the most, you know, is this going to work part of the evening is getting this going. This is not the, it's not the first time I've made one of these, but last time I did it, I had a larger container more oil and I'm pretty sure I made smaller tortillas it was also prior to let's just say it was earlier yeah <laughs> Though I reminded myself of those stuffed pickles that I made on stream. I've done those twice on stream now because they were so good. I'm going to have to make those again. I have to put those on the list again. I don't know if they're going to... I'm going to get to them this year, though. But for anyone else, I've, I've discovered that you can take pickles, core them, freeze them, and then stuff them with cheese and then freeze them again and batter them and fry them. And so it's a cheese stuffed fried pickle. I'm just now thinking the idea though of maybe trying to do that sometime with like pimento cheese or something. Because like the first two times I did that, I did it with like my own homemade like nacho cheese. seeing a greater than 20 degree difference there so I'm giving my oil a good stir up. This will also get my ladle nicely coated so that hopefully it doesn't immediately stick to the tortilla. Yeah they're not too tough. The hardest part is making the puff pastry which I think most people just buy frozen. that and making sure that you got a nice wrap you got a nice coat of everything so that it cooks evenly I'm not going to do the highest temp that I can for this I'm, I'm only going to put this I'm going to bring this up to about 350, but this tortilla is large enough that it, it better bring that temp down a bit. And I hope to keep it around 300-ish for that. Then we'll crank it back up and then do these, do the guacamole. Still got a huge temp gap there. Two sixty, two eighty five. I wonder if that's all my burner or how much of that is the thickness of the pan. I'm 
Well, that even things out pretty well there. In fact, I might just turn the heat off on this once I start frying this tortilla just to be on the safe side, just so that there's not another flame there to catch anything. I know everyone in chat wants me to burn down my house, but you know, I can only do that once and then I'm done streaming for a while. Pretty sure my landlord would not like that either. Let's see, what do we got going on over on Kicking Trovo tonight? Thank you for the follow, Seiko. And thank you for all the follows over on Trovo. I don't really have good alerts for the follows on either Kick or Trovo, so I have to sort of check back on you, lovely folks. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Yep, there's also several of uh, there's several uh, other platforms that allow you to do it too. I think uh, one of the more popular ones is Restream.io. I think that's their web address. Um, and then, yeah, I use OBS, but I've kept considering, there's another slightly more professional program out there that a number of streamers I know use. And I've debated back and forth on giving it a shot, but it's, you know, it's, it's a pay to play option versus OBS being I have donated to OBS for their lovely program, but OBS is free to use for those.
All right, I'm gonna trust the temp of this oil to be able to handle this tortilla all by itself. So we're gonna turn that off, that flame off, and we're going to go in to our oil and hope that we can keep the ladle down there enough to Need a real ladle for this. Oops, zoom right. My bad, chat. This is obviously a little bit easier in a big deep fryer, deep fat fryer, than at home. Like this is basically a whole jug of oil here. I got plenty of dishes for you two buns. Now that we're a little bit more under control, I think I can turn the flame back on here. We're losing temp a little quick here. much done.
flame back off again. Fine salt over the recently fried tortilla. At least over the, the top edges. Now let's figure out how we're gonna do these. Let's see. Let's see what these things are like. For those just joining in, we're gonna be frying some guacamole here next. This is some guacamole I made up first thing in the stream and froze. So now we're going to batter All right, we're giving this a shot. See what we get. Oh wait, oven's fryer's not on. Fryer's not on. I got the guacamole already, and didn't have the temp oil up to temp. Oh yeah, we're gonna get that in a moment, chat. We're only 260, 270. I think that turned out pretty good, Chet. I'm pretty excited about that. These two I'll put back in the freezer. back in my dirty freezer that I need to clean out. if this magically works let's see if this magically works out let's see does it fit uh, no it's a little large it's a little large in the round the it's a little wide and a little too shallow for that I guess we'll have to go with something else Hey, Undamaged Pizza. Welcome, welcome. Waiting on our oil to come back up the temp here before we give our guacamole a frying attempt. Just a little under 300 here. I think we're going to go up to, back to 350 before we try this first one. Yeah, I've frozen guacamole and now breaded it, Undamaged Pizza and I'm gonna be frying it here in a moment. Or at least attempting. That's an appropriate dad joke for the stream. I'm okay with that one.
No one else in chat's laughing, though. Oh, I take that back. I spoke too soon. When's the last time I had a Philly cheesesteak? I think I did a steak sandwich like... I know I did one in November two years ago. But I think I did one... Like, this spring? Late winter? Unless you mean an actual authentic Philly cheesesteak from Philadelphia. I, I've never been to Philadelphia. Sorry, chat. Yeah, it's a tough one when you get that hankering for a, a, a... For me, I always put... I know it's not traditional whatsoever, but I always want grilled onions and peppers with my steak sandwich. In fact, I almost, like, crave the onions and peppers and cheese and bread more than I do the, the beef. Sorry, Beef Association. I love you, but not always. With mushrooms as well. Nice. Get all that depth of umami flavor. Ooh, mommy. throwing this first one in a little bit cold. I just don't, it's been sitting here long enough. I don't want it to get too defrosted waiting to go into the oil. So we're going into the oil chat. too much, but I don't want it to stick at the same time. Yes, this is my first attempt.
That's looking fried to me, chat. Over on the board, over on the cutting board. Where did I hide you? I put you back in the place you're supposed to be. Oh, hey, we're ready for our next one right away, too. Let's pull the next two out. We can do both of these at the same time or close to the same time here, I think. So we got our pucks of frozen guacamole. I made just by spooning them into a ring mold and then freezing them. You don't want the flour on there too heavy. You just want a light coat of flour before you hit the egg. You want a, a, a thorough, solid coat, but you, you don't want it caked on at all. I stopped the music. Dope. Hey, I started it again. Woohoo! My fingers are wet and working it around in circles, making it so the center of this doesn't get a very good coat. Mm. Zoom right. And that's why you don't want the flour caked on, because then you get flour bubbles. The egg doesn't coat properly. It's been cooking for a bit, so I want to make sure give it a flip. Make sure that it's working nicely. Ooh, that one's pretty much done already before I even fifth it. Yeah, that one's looking nice. It's darker than the first. and into the oil. Oh. 
Oh, hey, our first person getting banned on Trovo tonight. I say person loosely because it's very obviously a bot that won't be returning, but hey. That oil got too hot, I think. What temp is that oil now? I'm gonna guess this is almost 380 now. Ooh, I almost nailed that, wow. Oil is now off. I think this one wins most attractive of the three. But what do you think, chat? One, two, or three? One, two, or three. I'm excited with how this turned out though, chat. I'm very happy that it didn't like explode or something. You know, no one loves oil flying all over the place other than chat. So I'm not gonna hide those from you, chat. Cause I need to make my salad. Take our homemade ranch and dress our salad greens and veggies. Turn the heat back on our beef and beans since Chet said we should serve it hot. Here and sizzling there, that's enough to get things just warmed up. So we'll turn that back off and just let that pan heat that up a little bit. This is taco salad with fried guacamole.
All right, we have our beef, beans, corn. Going mostly up here on top. Spoonful more pico over the top of that. Slice black olives. Our fried guacamole. Sour cream, green onion, and we need a ploosh. And there we go, chat. There is my fried guacamole taco salad. photos here. Ooh, all sorts of stuff going on in the Discord, apparently. Lots of chatter happening in the Discord tonight. I just messed that up and did the majority of those in the wrong settings. Oopsies, gotta take more photos. That wasn't my intent, I should have been done by now, chap. There we go, chap. Who's ready for dinner? Well, let's give Chad a see of what these things look like when you break into one of these. Oh, it just disintegrates. It just disintegrates.
I can see why people like that. So I like crispy guacamole. And it didn't completely, like, absolutely completely cook through. Like, with it being frozen, it's this is actually a little bit cool. It's not hot. But I'm happy with that. I'm sure the rest of this is going to be amazing. What do I have to do tomorrow, chat? What's my challenge tomorrow? What did you decide on, chat? Uh-oh. Looks like carne asada beat ice cream? How did that happen? Yeah, it's vanilla is it's got vanilla, it's sweet, but it's mostly just ice cream with just can't talk and type at the same time apparently here. I mean I'm I, I I'm confused on that one chat. I mean I understand you can think of ice cream as basically just cold milk but it's got all of that vanilla and sugar in it. Like, it's, it's not what I would think of. So I guess we're doing steak for dessert tomorrow. Thanks, chat. I think. Oh, dad joke. Oh, get a cringeworthy joke to finish out the evening here, chat. But thank you for hanging out with me tonight, everyone. It's been a pleasure hanging out with all of you. Thank you for all the subs and gifty subs and... and Biddies and yeah, thank you. Awesome. I'm looking forward to eating this. I hope you're looking forward to the photos that I'll put in Discord and all over the internets. I'm going to be back here tomorrow night doing an ingredient challenge on all the platforms. Kick, Trovo, YouTube, and Twitch. Thank you all for joining in with me tonight. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Good night.